Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today we're going to be taking a look at Square Online, how to use Square Online and build out your own free online store or and your own website as well uh, with Square for free. Again, creating your own website uh, all for free with Square and again, Square Online. So that's what we're gonna be diving into here in today's video, how to get started with it in overview and generally you know, how Square works when you want to build out uh, a website and create your own you know, pages and all of that within Square. Uh, before we dive into things, of course, I do wanna mention if you are interested in checking out Square or you do wanna sign up with them or get started, you go and check out that first link down below in the description. Again, that's brennanvaleski.com forward slash square. We'll take you right over to Square where you can get signed up for free. Again, completely for free with Square and go ahead and get signed up and get started. So without further ado, let's go ahead and introduce Square Online. So essentially it is a you know website builder uh, where you can build your own website as well as sell things online as well, right? So it is Square Online and it is owned by Square, the company. Uh, and again, you can accept managed orders online or in store, you know, from social media, uh, and it connects with your inventory as well. This uh, works as well if you're primarily for retail. Uh, that's the main purpose of an online store. You can also just build out a free website uh, with Square Online as well. Again, it is mainly you know catered around e-commerce. Again, I do talk a lot about e-commerce here on the channel. Uh, so that is the main focus here, you know, of of specifically like Square, Square Online, and the overall you know, build out of it is really built for like online stores. As you can see, it's sort of like a competitor to Shopify uh, in a way. So, you know, they have different themes and things like that. Now, some of them are paid, like some of the more advanced features. We're not gonna be covering too much about that in this video, uh, but the very basics of it, you can get started for free. Uh, again, they do have a free version. Uh, of the Square and Square Online. Essentially, the only cost you would have is just, of course, processing uh, payments. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the actual Square dashboard. So this is what it will look like uh, when you actually get signed up with Square and you have your Square account, right? You have to enter in your information about your business, things like that. Then you will be taken over to this page here. Just make sure that when you're signing up, going through the sign up process, you do add Square Online. Uh, if you forget to do it right then and there, you can always go ahead and add it later. Uh, so what you're going to do is once you have, you know, your access on the Square dashboard, you're just going to come over here to Square Online and you're going to go ahead and get started. So create a fully integrated e-commerce site uh, that automatically syncs items, inventory and orders with Square. So we're just going to select that here. Um, and as you can see, we can get started uh, with Square Online, right? So we're going to get started. Um, and then all we have to do is go ahead and start the site. And then this will load up sort of their Weebly backend. Uh, Weebly is like a separate company that Square acquired years ago. Um, and that's technically what the storefront is built through. Uh, it is through Weebly. So just to let you know, but it is still technically Square. It's still owned by Square, uh, but that's sort of just how they built out the whole website side of things. So uh, this is where you can select like how customers get their orders. Um, you need, if it's in-house delivery, uh, pickup, shipping, uh, you can also just select none of these apply to me. Uh, again, this depends on if you're trying to build out more of an online store. Again, that's really what Square Online is more primarily built for is e-commerce and online stores. But again, you can use them as well just as a generic website builder uh, if you want to you know, build out a website for free. Maybe you know, there are other options out there that do exist, but again, Square Online can still be a good uh, option for just building out a free website too. Uh, again, and it is linked into Square. So if you decide to start selling products in the future, you sort of already are in the Square ecosystem, uh, which is a pretty good setup uh, within itself just for selling things and, you know, whatnot. So as you can see here, they will give you a Square Online Plus, like free trial type thing uh, for 15 days. That's the plus feature. So this does include like website themes, custom domain, expanded customization. Um, so they will give you that for free as part of like your initial signup, uh, which is the plus version. Uh, again, these are like premium features, which would be certain website themes, custom domain, uh, more customization. So we're going to go ahead and close out of that. Um, again, otherwise, you know, if you want to keep it to just be more basic, uh, you just have to make sure that you're not using those more advanced features, right? Um, 
if you want to you know stay published with just a more basic website you don't necessarily need a custom domain uh, they'll ask you all that information you know as part of like their subscribe upgrade process just to show you um, sort of what that looks like right so we're gonna go ahead and start editing the site just give you a gen general overview and show you sort of what things look like as well as sort of the s customization process right uh, so it's like welcome uh, so we're gonna go ahead and click edit site uh, and there's a lot of options that you do have within the website builder again this is a full-fledged like website builder um, now the first thing of course they want you to try and pick is like oh let's build like a multi-page custom website again that is um you know if you want the more premium templates that is part of the plus version that is not included in the free version again that's starting at their like 29 dollars a month and that's sort of like a competitor to shopify or other e-commerce platforms but if you just want like a simple free thing uh then you know as you can see here get started with this free e-commerce template um so you can select just like the free um the free template as well so we'll just select that for keeping things simple for the sake of this video um, again there are those other more premium options that you do have again you can also get a custom domain and things like that um, so they did also add in uh you know theme options and custom imagery with ai uh, so you can replace things obviously in the editor uh, so as you can see here it is pretty like drag and drop uh, they do also have detailed tutorials too uh, you know that you can uh, go through um, so you can edit the header banner you know i'm not going to be going into every single thing that you can edit here with the website so we're just giving you like a general overview of how square uh, online websites work um, but this is sort of what it will give you um, from the basic version now you can look at it on mobile as well as desktop so i would highly 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 recommend uh, when you're going through and editing things make sure it's good you know on mobile and on desktop that's important obviously uh so that people can actually view your um your website of course as the, as they even say here too it's like 80 percent of people are on mobile um so it's true i mean especially with e-commerce so um you do also have the option between like you know your category pages you can also set up like appointments uh, item pages story pages things like that uh as well um so just to like show you some of the basics you know you can easily edit the banner here you can add images um you know you can get rid of certain backgrounds and things like that if you want to add certain images you could do a gradient uh again not getting too much into like the actual customization because it's pretty straightforward as far as like what you want to change or move things around um obviously you can make it look a lot better than just what i'm showing you here as a pretty basic overview um, you can also add like little banners with extra information. It's pretty straightforward. Um, you know, you have your headlines, things like that, uh, right? So you can also set up your booking. So if you do sell services on your website, uh, you can also do that. I do have a full tutorial of Square appointments that is sort of like a separate part of Square's um, business backend sort of thing, um, where you can also set up and have people book appointments um, from the square website so to preview this um, this is sort of what it would look like uh, again you know you have your images you have your information um, there so we're gonna go ahead and close the preview uh, in terms of other site design you, know, you can edit the buttons the badges there's really a lot of things in here uh, that you can go through and edit if you want to make it you know really match your business and your brand which I would obviously recommend doing um, to you know, really give you a good solid website you can also change out like the layout of some of the the header where like the logo is the overall like general layout uh, of a lot of different parts within the website you can add your logo here you know link it to your home page you can edit the links and uh, different pages as well so again you know getting into the weeds of all this there are a lot of things that you can do in terms of customizations again this is just more of a general overview video um, you know it, there's infinite types of little tweaks and changes that you can make to your website design um, so we're gonna go ahead and publish this here uh, now this is where you know you can find a custom domain if you want or if you want the free one uh, that would be as you can see here the square subdomain so that's what you're gonna select if you want to keep it free uh, and it'll just generate it based on your business name um, 
Now, the numbers might just be because there's probably a million Joe Schmo business names, um, but maybe if yours was a little more like niche or specific, it might not generate the numbers, but I'm not 100% sure on that one. Uh, but either way, that would be your like easy uh, square subdomain. Um, so like if you did maybe uh, Joe Plumbing houses or something i don't know um you can use that uh, it just can't be the same as maybe other people uh so that's why they sort of just generate something with numbers and then it's got dot square dot site uh, so you can change that there okay so that one was clearly available because it gave us the green check uh again it is still a square subdomain so it is limited um but you know you can click that link and it will take you over to the website and as you can see we're on joe plumbing houses uh, square site so you know obviously I haven't really tweaked much here so it's pretty uh, janky looking uh, in terms of like the actual you know pages uh, obviously you want to go in and you know make sure that you uh, adjust the design and make sure it like matches what you actually want um, but that's the free link and then you can you know put whatever you want on the website uh, and it's already been published here again this is completely for free so again this does look sort of janky I get that um, but this is just like a very basic quick template um, that is free to use um, again their premium templates are paid now if you do want to see sort of what it can look like um, you know there are obviously you can go through here and edit it to your heart's content in terms of you know how much you actually want to edit your site um, but just to show you sort of what it can look like in terms of the actual like premium themes um, you know you go to your website edit edit the site You know, you come in here, you go to the, the templates in the overall editor. We'll load here, go to site design, you know, adjust the colors, things like that. Um, you could even go back to the defaults too if you want to do that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and exit that here. Exiting the website editor. And this will bring you back to your overall Square Online dashboard. Uh, so this is where you can see like your current site that you have as well as you know adding in uh, catalog items so if you do want to add in like specific products that you're actually selling this is where you go in and add your catalog items um, so this is where you would add specific um, you know items to your actual uh, online store so you just go in and create items so we're just gonna add like something basic here so you have physical products uh, you know you can also sell digital products, event products, donation pages, um, or other if you have things that are just manual things that you fulfill. Um, maybe like sort of service-based businesses might have something like in the other category. Um, you know, event, you know, physical products is sort of the more, more basic one that we have already set up, as well as food and beverage. So you can also sell, you know, food and beverage-based items as if you're operating more like a restaurant. Uh, so you can go through and do that as well. You can also add um, subscriptions as you might've been able to see there if the camera's not covering it. Um, you go in and add like how much stock you have of all your items. You can also add in like SEO information such as like permalinks, titles, descriptions, things like that. If you want it to be you know more descriptive than just like the basic item titles that you're going with, you can add your images here. Uh, and then you can you know view your products on your online store. Uh, so again, pretty straightforward as far as adding items here. So we're gonna go ahead and cancel that. Um, but that's how you go into the items. You've got item categories. You've got the ability to add you know, coupons, gift cards, uh, customer reviews as well. Um, syncing you know, your items, obviously. So like, if you add items to your store, it'll automatically add it to your website. Um, you know, of course, we don't have any orders here. You set up your, you know, shipping, your fulfillment process, your overall reports, you know, site traffic, things like that. So you do also get site analytics in here too, uh, which is pretty, pretty good, especially for a free store. If you're not going to be, you know, if you don't need the premium features like the custom domain or the custom themes, if you just want to go through and edit it yourself, um, you do have that option there. Again, this is, you, you would want to edit this so it doesn't look as janky, obviously. Um, as just like the basic, basic, basic setup. Um, you know, it does just take a bit of work to go through here, obviously, and go through and tweak, you know, exactly how you may want it to look. 
Um, so those are all the different uh, options you have in here. Again, you know, you can manage your subscription here if you want to make sure like, hey, I'm not going to be the plus version. You know, I don't want to be on the plus. You can change the domain name here as well. You know, customizing the site too um, in terms of like, you know, the different style, like I showed you through the overall um, editor here uh, within the dashboard. Uh, and that's pretty much Square Online, right? So it's pretty easy and quick to get set up with things. Again, they do have the free version and they also have, you know, the paid version of the website. Um, you know, if you want to edit some other additional SEO information, you do also have that here. So you can, you know, see how it looks in the search results. Um, you can also add redirects too, if you need to do that. Um, you know, I would, you know, if you want to edit things like that, like right now, the default is just like appointments <laughs> at Joe Schmo. I mean, you can also just link to this from your social media page too. If you're going to be promoting things through social media, uh, it's very easy just to link out to your square site. You can start accepting payments from it too. Um, as well as like setting up your actual, you know, items and categories and products, uh, that you do actually sell. So that, that's probably the easiest way is to set things up as like products on your storefront. Um, you know, managing things as items. Again, like I showed you the different categories that are available, and then you can go in and add them, you know, to your site. Um, so again, Square is a pretty robust platform in terms of all the options that they also have. Again, not covering those in this video here today, but they do also have invoicing. I did recently cover that in a video. I've covered the appointments. Um, you know, they also have uh, you know, terminals, obviously point of sale systems as well for, you know, physical retail locations. You can also use payment links. So there really are a lot of options for small business beyond even just the website. Uh, if you want everything to kind of tie together for your business, again, both online and person, uh, as you can see here. Uh, so setting up the website pretty quick and easy and fast to do. So again, guys, I hope you found this quick little video helpful on you know how to get started with Square Online. As you can see, it's a pretty easy process. You go through, you click a few things, and boom, you pretty much have your website set up. Again, it will take you time to edit this, to customize it. It would take hours you know, to roll through here and edit every little detail. Um, you know, but that's just a basic little setup that you can get started with. Uh, you can add your hours, things like that. Um, and just go in and tweak and edit to your heart's content as far as how much you want to change and tweak and edit on your Square website. So again, guys, I hope you found this video helpful setting up quickly like a Square online store. Again, it is completely for free. They do also have the plus version um, that you can use. Again, just taking a look quickly at the pricing here again. They do have the per transaction fee. Um, again, you're going to run into that pretty much anywhere you go um, with any type of you know platform that you're going to be accepting payments. You can also you know use it just as a basic website builder if you just want to go through and add things, even without products as well. You can easily like delete those sections if you don't necessarily care about those. Um, so again, guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you do want to get started with Square and Square Online, you can go and check out that first link down below in the description. Again, that's brennavaleski.com forward slash Square. Take you right over to Square where you can get started with your Square Online website. So again, guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. But anyway, guys, that's all for today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.